Hey everybody! Andrew seems to still be having some trouble understanding the big idea for this month. So I'll tell you what, Andrew. I've got some things to show you. But first, why don't you lead them in reading the big idea definition again? Okay, everyone. Read the definition with me. Service is lending a hand to help someone out. Yay! whoop de doo Confetti! Yay! Thank you, Andrew. That was um, inspired. So hopefully you all are beginning to understand that service is lending a hand to help others. And as important as it is to help others, it's also vitally important that when we help others, we do it with a happy and grateful heart. This can be difficult as we don't like to give things away freely. Really? Freely? As in do it for free? That's right. Do it freely. Basically, when there are others around us in need, we should freely and gladly give to them. We should give with a happy heart. Who cares if you give with a happy heart? You gave something away, right? What's the big deal? They should be the ones who are happy. Why do I have to be happy about it? Well, that's a good question. I'd like you to help me out with a demonstration. What if? Um, there are several items on this table that represent ways we can help other people out. So you will be my person in need, and I have some stuff to give you. For free? Like, you're giving me things for free? Yeah, I'm going to serve you right now. Okay, I'm down with that. I'm going to give all of these items with a bad attitude, and then we'll see if you're still down with that. Oh, well, who cares about your attitude, right? I'm still getting stuff, so what else? What else? Okie dokie. Uh, for starters, let's say you were in need of some money, and I offered to help you out. Money? Like, free money? Awesome. Okay, let me have it. What was that for? Uh, you needed money, so I gave it to you all in pennies. That's not cool. Not cool. Well, yeah, that's kind of the point of the lesson. How'd it make you feel? Uh, it made me feel good. Good. Made you feel good? Yeah, I mean, look at all this money. I'm rich. Uh, it's five dollars. Still feel good? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. All right. Well then, let's say you were in need of something to wear. Okay. And I gave you this. What? Seriously? What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, what do you want from me? I gave you the stuff to make your own clothes. So there. Make my own clothes? I don't know how to make my own clothes. So how'd that make you feel? Ugh, fine. I'm fine. Okay. Well then, what if you were hungry? And I offered you something to eat, like this pie. Pie? Oh, I love pie. So, Andrew, how do you feel now? What do you think? You just popped me in the face. What I feel kind of, lousy. What kind of attitude is that? Didn't I just give you all this stuff? Yeah, but look at me. I am covered in pie. I've got welts on my head from all the coins you put on me, and if I needed to clean my shirt, like I do right now, I have to knit one. It feels lousy. I know, and I am so sorry, but let me show you how I should help you. Here, let me let me clean you up. I'm, I'm so sorry about this mess. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind. Happy to do it. Oh, oh, and here. Here is $100. You can have your shirt dry clean. You can even buy a new one. Wow. I'm sorry. Thank you. For the mess. I hope it, that helps. It, it will. It will. Okay. My pleasure. And are you hungry? Need something to eat? Is it pie? <laughs> no, no. No more pie. Um, it's just a hot <sighs> meal from Cookout. I know how much you love their burgers, and so I left it for you backstage. Wow. Yeah. Yes. That is perfect. How much do I owe you? Nothing. Just happy to help you out. Oh, well, thanks. This, this is very kind. In fact, 
I feel pretty good. Oh. Yes? Uh, wait a second. I get it. You do? Yeah, when you give to someone in need, when you give to them joyfully, not only do they get what they need, but they feel loved. Yes, exactly. Sometimes we serve people with a bad attitude. Mom and dad ask us to take out the garbage. And what do we often do? That's right. Mm. Complain, moan, whine. Instead, let's serve our parents without a bad attitude. I mean, when you think about it, you probably created a lot of that garbage yourself. Instead of complaining about having to take out the empty pizza boxes after dinner, be thankful that your parents bought you the pizza in the first place and serve them with a smile on your face. I think I'm starting to understand. Instead of complaining about having to pick up a mess in the cafeteria after lunch, maybe they could look for trash and pick it mm -hmm. up themselves. Basically, lend a helping hand to the lunch attendants. That's a perfect example. Whether it's your parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, teachers, principals, or maybe serving at a local homeless shelter, find ways to lend a helping hand to those in need. Got it. Thanks for the lesson, Melissa. No problem. Okay, now I'm going to go get an ice pack. All this learning is really giving me a headache. and Maybe it was all the pennies. I don't, I don't know. I think he got it. Helping other people isn't just a responsibility, it's a privilege. And when you've got skills, money, or time to give to help someone in need, make sure you do it without a bad attitude.